welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make spice blends like curry powders. So we're going to do a Mauritian style curry, general use curry powder today. Right here I've got some coriander seeds. So you put it into a pan over medium heat and stir it gently. You really want to be careful just to release the essential oils and not to burn the spices. Those of you who know me know I have an issue with using pre-bought ground spices because most of the flavor and the essential oils have evaporated already. So we've got some fresh coriander, we stir it gently, just make sure it keeps moving until you can smell the essential oils release and you see a slight change in the color of the spices. It does take a few minutes, so you need to have patience, but I promise you the results are worth it. Those of you who've had my curries and asked me why it tastes different, well, here's the reason. This is the secret. It's the freshness and toasted spices. So this one is done, and it goes in a bowl. The next one I'm going to use is, a cu is cumin seed. So this one is a whole cumin seed, it's the regular one, not the darker cumin seed, but it does toast more quickly. You might hear a slight popping sound, that's the sound that tells you it's almost ready. The cumin cooks really, really quickly, the essential oils have a lower smoking point, so you need to be careful. So this one is done really fast. The next one I'm going to use is black peppercorns. This one is called a telesherry pepper, it's not as expensive as some of the peppers, but it works really well for spice blends. I really like the smell of pepper when the essential oils are released. It's also very anti-inflammatory, so it's a good thing to add to your spices. It has a lot of health benefits. Next, I've got fennel seeds. These are, they look slightly green. That's how you can distinguish them from cumin seeds and they're also slightly fatter. And it's the same process again. But this one cooks almost immediately. For this one you can actually see a little bit of color on it to tell you that it's toasted. Now I've got cardamom pods. One interesting thing with cardamom pods is that you might notice that these are green. A lot of people use the white ones. I don't like to use them because they've been bleached. I try to keep my food as chemical free as possible. These are also very quick to cook. So if you ever use my Mauritian curry powder or Mauritian curry paste, this is the, these are the main ingredients. Now we have cloves, and we're, these are really quick to cook as well. The next spice we're going to use is cinnamon. Now if you look at it closely, you'll see that this one is true cinnamon. It's got very thin layers of bark. The best cinnamon comes from Sri Lanka generally, but the one that you often see in the shop labeled cinnamon is actually cassia, not cinnamon. So if you want to tell the difference, you need to look very closely at the bark itself, on how th thin and thick it is. If you can peel it apart like this and break it into pieces, then it's true cinnamon, not cassia. So you break this one apart, it's very easy, it's a soft bark. So just be careful when you're buying cinnamon in the shop. A lot of people ask me where to buy spices and I always tell them you need somewhere with a high turnover. You don't want something that's been sitting there for years. So generally your Indian gross, grocery shops will have a good selection. And the next ingredient is going to be some rice. This works as a thickener when you're making curries. It also helps in the, in the grinding. 
So it's just regular rice. This one happens to be an Italy rice, which is what I use to make dosas. You can use any rice, jasmine, basmati, whatever works for you. So the rice now is almost a golden color. I'm just going to add it to the mixture. So this is what it looks like when all the spices have been toasted. It's very important now to let them cool, otherwise you will not get a nice blend once you grind them. So let the spices cool at least to room temperature, if not colder, and then use a coffee grinder or a spice grinder to blend them to a powder. If you still have little bits in there that are unpleasant or a bit too coarse, you sift it. But after that, you add turmeric powder until you get the color that you like. Now watch carefully when you do this because it's very important that you don't add too much. It would give your curry a bitter taste. Now the turmeric powder that I use is called Aleppi turmeric. It's a lot more concentrated than the regular one, so if you use the one labeled Aleppi, make sure you use less than in any recipe that you cook. So here we have the spices that are freshly ground. It's the same mix that I showed you. And I'm going to add the turmeric powder to it. So remember what I said, this is an Aleppi turmeric, so you use a lot less. So mix it and check the color. Now to me that's not yellow enough, but I have to remember that this yellow part will deepen over time. So it's still not quite yellow enough for my liking, but I'm going to stop now because I know that when I cook the spices, the color will come out more. And this is a Mauritian curry powder, very similar to a Madras one. You can use it for general use, general vegetarian curries, or even chicken, which we're going to do in the next video.